Hello there. So you might be familiar with these things. I am the creator and designer of these uh, with some help of the community, of course. Uh, and these have been pretty great. Uh, they've been selling pretty well on Amazon and a couple of OEM customers. They're pretty good for uh, hanging cable. I don't really have uh, long enough cable here to demonstrate, but this is some welding cable. It's pretty close. Uh, and um, yeah, this is, does the job. So I've been asked a couple times uh, to look at a Type 2. This is called J1772, Type 1 in uh, Europe, uh, or just there's no type at all in uh, it's level 1 or level 2 in, in North America. I live in Canada, so that's in North America. We don't use Type 2. This is Type 2. This is generally what's available on the market right now. It has moving parts. And if I put that in there, there you go. That's... The, what's available right now for these uh, these things. Generally you need two hands or it's a little clumsy to get that undone. The advantage to this is that uh, you there's potentially uh, electronic uh, locking mechanisms you can get, but the major disadvantage is, is that all these moving parts are gonna make a part very expensive for something that's just as simple as just a plastic holder. <clears throat> expensive to sell, expensive to make. Uh, I've designed this. This is uh, my first prototype that's very close to what it's going to look like in the final version. And um, I would like to know your thoughts, right? If I, I've made a, a larger hook uh, and I've made this with no moving parts, you just simply insert it all the way to the back and then let it hang. There's a hook there inside, the same hook, same location as this. So if this doesn't work for your type two, then neither will this. This is based on the same principle but is more aligned with uh, what Tesla uses, which is just simply a little plastic hook up inside there and a very specific angle to get that in there without, without falling out, right? That's, this is in there pretty solid. Now, if you're really clumsy or in a hurry, you can still kind of get it in there crooked and it, it might not go in all the way, but you know, it's like, it's just the same kind of principle as you push this in until you hear a click. Same thing with this, you gotta just push it in until it's square at the back and then put it down. It's not going anywhere. Uh, and this being 3D printed, it's not meant for loads or anything like that. It's just for demonstration and kind of physical, uh, like viewing it and, anal and analyzing it and things like that. But the, I, the principle is there. And, it, and this is a bigger hook because this being uh, like five conductors and two signals is going to be a lot thicker cable. So I made a, a much bigger uh, hook on here as well. So that's the profile onto the uh, wall there. It's at, at a I think 30 degrees slant and additional like a couple other a couple more degrees to go straight down like this it doesn't come perfectly straight down I've experimented with different angles if this goes too far down like this it kind of falls out easily uh, if there's any kind of jimmying or shaking it, it'll just kind of undo itself just because it's too low um, but still it's still way better than this one where it kind of just sticks right off in the wall uh, so that's that's the idea with that so uh, I'm still working on this. This is far from finished. Uh, I got to add some reinforcement to this hook, uh, and I got to make make this compatible for injection molding. Uh, this thing, this prototype took 14 hours to 3D print. So I will not be selling uh, 3D printed uh, versions of this, but I will be releasing it to the public. Uh, if you want to try, attempt to 3D print this beast, good luck. Uh, it was it, it took me uh, at least one failed print. Uh, and 14 hours of actual printing, and I had to change the print spool halfway through. You can kind of see a slight difference in color. Uh, they're both white, but that's like old white, and that's a brand new spool that I added in the middle of the print. That was a little hectic. Uh, but it worked, and I got a functioning prototype now. Just a little bit more refinement uh, and some feedback, hopefully, and I'll be good to go for production. Uh, let me know what you think. Thank you.